In this video, I will show you how to make a performance report on your SQL Server that looks like this. So the first thing to do is to open perfmon, click start, click run, type in perfmon and click OK. Now expand data collector sets, right click on user defined, select new, select data collector set, type in a name, I'll name it my collector set 2 click on create manually, click on next, click on create data logs and then check the box that says performance counter, then click next, then click add, and now we will add all the counters. So first I will find memory, expand that, and I will add available bytes, available m bytes, page faults per second, pages per second, and now I will go to physical disk, and I will add percent disk time, Average disk second per read, average disk second per write, current disk queue length, disk bytes per second, disk transfers per second. Then I will find processor, expand that and I will get percent privilege time and percent processor time. Then I will find SQL Server access methods. And I will get free space scans per second. And full scans per second. Then I will go to SQL Server Buffer Manager, and get Buffer Cache Hit Ratio, Checkpoint Pages Per Second, Free Pages, Lazy Writes Per Second, Page Life Expectancy. Then I will go to SQL Server General Statistics, expand that, and I will get User Connections. Then I will get, I will go to SQL Server Latches, and I will get Total Latch Wait Time. Then SQL Server Locks and I'll get lock timeouts per second. Lock wait time and number of deadlocks per second. Then I will go to SQL Server Memory Manager, expand that, and I will get memory grants pending. target server memory, and total server memory. Then I will go to SQL Server SQL Statistics, expand that, and I will get batch requests per second, SQL compilations per second, SQL recompilations per second, then I will go to System, and I will get Context Switches per Second, and Processor Queue Link. And 
now I am done adding all the counters I am interested in. So I'll click OK. Then I will click Next. And this is the directory it will be saved to. Then I'll click Next and click Finish. And now I will right click on my collector set and choose Start. And it says Running. And now it will begin collecting data on my counters. And I should let this run for about 10 minutes. And now that it has been running for 10 minutes, I can stop it, right click and choose stop. And then I will go to where it was saved on my hard drive, double click on it, And now I can see all the counter values down here. And if I click on Available Bytes, it will show me the average, the minimum, and the maximum. And now to get the report, I can click on this icon and select Report. And now I have this report on the performance of my SQL Server. And if I take a screenshot of it, I can print it out.